this Commonwealth, of which every member is so proud, came into existence because people made sacrifices and offered their service to it. Now it has been handed to us. And if we don't make sacrifices for it, we shall have nothing to hand on to those who come after us. And the world will have lost something of much greater value than just a grand conception. He is someone who doesn't take easily to compliments, but he has quite simply been my strength and stay all these years. Do I look ill? We are interrupting our normal programmes to bring you an important announcement. You're watching BBC News from London. A short while ago, Buckingham Palace announced the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. In a statement, the palace said, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Prince Philip earned the affection of generations here in the United Kingdom, across the Commonwealth and around the world. Like the expert carriage driver that he was, he helped to steer the royal family and the monarchy so that it remains an institution indisputably vital to the balance and happiness of our national life. They played Old Lang Syne for her as Britannia prepared to sail. The royal staff caught the atmosphere. And then the Bahamians upped the tempo to double time Calypso, and that did the trick. And the men who caused that most unusual reaction played on as Britannia sailed away. Anthony Carthew, ITN, in Nassau.